It all began on an ordinary Tuesday in the depths of Coral Reach Cove, where Finny Fish was playing poke the scuba diver with his pal Pinwheel. Pinwheel had just successfully poked the pinky toe of a skittish swimmer when Finny saw Mr. Clearwater Cod swimming their way. Mr. Clearwater was as old as any codfish Finny or Pinwheel had ever seen, and everyone knew he was as crazy as a spitting squid. Evening, boys, said Mr. Clearwater in his gravelly voice as he approached the two youngsters. How's the water? Finny and Pinwheel looked at him blankly, completely bewildered. Um, what's water? asked Finny finally. Mr. Clearwater burst out laughing as if he'd just heard the funniest joke of his life. <laughs> he laughed so hard, he rolled over and hung there, suspended with his belly up, giggling like a madfish. Finally, he rolled back over, gave them one more sideways glance, and swam away, muttering to himself and still chortling, What's water? It never gets old. Finny and Pinwheel looked at each other incredulously. Mr. Clearwater Cod is just as crazy as everyone says he is, declared Finny, eyes still wide as he watched Mr. Clearwater disappear into the darkness. Yeah, said Pinwheel. They say he went to the shallows years and years ago and hasn't been the same since. At the mention of the shallows, Finny gave a little shiver. Everyone knew the shallows were dangerous, and few fish from Coral Reach Cove had ever attempted to go. Of those who had, Mr. Clearwater was the only one who had ever returned. There was something mm, mysterious about the shallows, and no fish with any sense went near the place. We'd better get home, said Finny. Mum will fillet me alive if I'm late for dinner. Plus, I think she's making my favorite tonight. Algae balls with squid ink. Mmm. The two young fish swam home, and while Finny ate, he told his parents about his interaction with Mr. Clearwater. Do you know what water is? He asked them curiously. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Magic Kids story. In search of water. Subscribe to the Magic Kids app to hear the rest of this story, as well as the world's most magical audio library featuring new stories, music, meditations, and learning activities every week. Our fair pay publishing model and pays our artists 50% of the subscription revenue so they can continue making magic for your kids. Already a fan? Share Magic Kids with three friends and help us raise the spiritometer today. Thanks for tuning in, and you'll hear us next time.